Hi everyone, welcome to our series on the book of Romans. Today we're going to talk about how to live a set apart or holy life. Now unfortunately, some believers teach that we can live a holy life just by following rules. And Paul's going to make clear in Romans chapter 7 that that's not the way we can live a holy life. Because although the, although the law is good, we have that sinful nature that wants to disobey the law. So what's the key? Well, it tells us in Romans chapter 6 and chapter 8 that the key is to walk by the Spirit. And that comes by faith. Let's turn together to Romans chapter 6, starting in verse 5. It states, For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. For one who has died has been set free from sin. Now, if we've died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. For the death he died, he died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. What Paul is telling us here is that when we put our faith in Jesus, a death occurred. We died with Christ. So just as Christ died to sin, we also died to sin. You know, I love the verse in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, which says that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, behold, the new has come. So by faith, by believing that we died with Christ and through him, we are new creations, sin won't have dominion over us. That's Paul's promise in Romans 6, 14. Let me read it to you. It says, for sin will have no dominion over you since you are not under law, but under grace. Because we've received the grace of God through Jesus' death and resurrection, we can be assured that God won't condemn us. We can be assured that he's justified us. He's declared us righteous. He's forgiven us. And also that sin will not have power over, over us anymore because we're new creations in Christ. I hope that encourages you to walk by the spirit and not by the flesh. Thanks for watching. For more information on witnessing to cults and other religions, go to our website, pleasetellmethetruth.org.